All right, hi, um, I'm Nick, and today I'm going to walk you through kind of getting started with Onshape for um, FRC specifically. Um, if there's interest, I might do an FTC one, but um, they're roughly the same, so hopefully whoever's watching can find it useful. Uh, I, I wanted to avoid doing like really the basic tutorials that are, you should really be watching the on shape education stuff but for this one i'm going to focus on basically the stuff that uh isn't necessarily in that um and it's just like the raw logistics of getting things set up um so where you want to start out and i'll have links for all this stuff uh in the description um is with this on shape.com slash education plan um I go to this by onshape.com slash edu. Um, that's redirects to it. Um, this is where you have to go to sign up. Um, this is also where you have to go to sign up, even if you already have an account um, or if your account expires. Um, it says create edu account, um, but uh, it'll take you to the page that's basically the form that you want to redo this, right? Um, so that you need to do to refresh it or add it to a new one. It will auto detect your email address and get you there. So shutting off there on chip.com slash edu, go there, create your account. Um, and then you're going to get dropped on a page that looks like this, um, with probably a lot less stuff unless somebody invited you and you have all their stuff. Um, from there, uh, one of the most important things I would recommend for anybody getting started in FRC is to add the MKCAT Arts Library. Um, so to do that, um, I used to say uh, go and search public documents for MKCAT and then try to figure out what's real and what's somebody's bad copy and you could only tell what's real by Milk and Knight's test account and it was a whole mess, uh, but the MKCAD folks got smart and they figured out that they can have a specific link to a search that brings you back to all of the MKCAD stuff. So here's the magic link. Um, I will post that in the description as well. Um, you want to do that. Um, now, some of you have been using MKCAD but didn't use it with labels. You want to label them. Um, the way you do that is that if you select them, so I'll select all of them, and I select right click and say labels, I can add a label. So if I didn't have the MKCAD label, I could create a new one, name it MKCAD, uh, but I already have that. So you just click create and now you have a label filled with all the MKCAD stuff. Where this becomes useful is if I pop over to this demo assembly I say insert go to other documents and I get my labels in here mkcad labels and now they're all here and you don't have to go to something like say I want to search um, public on shape for mkcad and try to do that in this annoying little drop down menu just don't uh, add the label Make your life easier. Highly recommended. Um, so that's bit two. Add those. MKCAD has a ton of useful parts. Uh, maybe someday I'll do a tour of all the awesome stuff in MKCAD. Uh, and they're constantly improving it and incorporating stuff that the community's made and um, that to make it more useful. So um, highly recommended. Use the MKCAD stuff. Um, don't go trying to CAD all of your own motors or all your own gearboxes. Just insert stuff. They got stuff. They got all the electronics, right? You want electronics? Here's all the electronics. You don't need to CAD them. You don't need to import them and wait for it to figure out all of the different surfaces. Like this, this right here, this PDP, takes way too long to import. If you're doing it raw like but you can have it in mkcad really really fast and it's more performant because it's in a different document uh, that has a version um, which means that it doesn't have to do any weird cross-checking stuff that that's has to do when you don't have a version of things 
Um, so good stuff. Um, so second bit on this that I want to talk about is adding feature scripts. Uh, feature scripts. Uh, I have another, I have a video I'm planning on doing on kind of walking through some of the awesome feature scripts that have been created. Um, but the trick to feature scripts is they're up here. Um, in yours, you might not have any of these, and then it just looks like this plus add custom features. Um, so you can just click that add custom features. You can take a look at all of the awesome ones that they have in the community. Take a look at the community spotlight ones. There's a lot of great stuff in there. Um, there's also a ton of FRC specific ones, which are you'll see if you're in here. Um, if you're looking at mine, like almost all of these are FRC specific ones. Um, and most of those are coming from one person, uh, Julia, who has created so many awesome feature scripts. Like, thank you, Julia. You have made everything about FRC better. Um, and FRC catting in on shape is just so much easier because of the work that you've put into these and uh, all the stuff that you've done for the community. So thank you, Julia. Um, there's just a ton of them in here. Like, I'll take a look at this, like, whatever, you got this reference geometry one, you got uh, motor mounting ones, you've got chain paths, belts, spacers, shafts, um, round all edges, like, isogrid, featuring, 3D printed mass, like, there's just so much good stuff in here. Tube converter. Tube converter is, like, in the gusset generator, like, I can't talk enough about how much that speeds up your CAD process to have those. Like, not only does it speed it up, like, actually doing the CAD, but it also speeds up the regen times, like, because it's more efficient. It's, like, it, yeah, just do yourself a favor um get them maybe someday i'll do a walkthrough on them but like take a look at them uh add them to add them you say whatever uh add like you can see i've added a lot of these i haven't added all of them uh, because uh i actually don't use isogrid very much um people overuse isogrid that's just an opinion of mine um but anyways tons of awesome stuff in there uh check it out. Um, some other important ones that you'll want. Uh, so this lighten, uh, lighten is like just great. Like simplifies your life so much. Um, a lot of the good feature scripts will have like an instructions PDF that kind of explains a little bit. Um, and then they'll have these like part studios that explain like if you take a look at them, how to use them. So lighten is basically you get these se sketch sections and it'll lighten the part for you. Um, and oftentimes this is more robust to changes than like doing all these curves manually. You can run into issues with it, but like on the whole, I just don't do custom pocketing anymore. Like in the sketch, it's just not worth it because it breaks so much easier. Um, so that's an awesome one. Do you have anything else that's in here? Um, there's this parts one um, from Nobby. He's like created this one, this which is just so. The way this works, right? Is if I add these parts, um, so you can see it gave him the name. I don't tend to name them. I like it to keep their own name, um, and then. You can see in the properties that it sets the part number correctly, which is great. Tons of different ways of doing that. Um, saves a lot of time. Be careful to do it in ways that are stable um, because you can get weird things where you change something and then your parts aren't the same. Uh, but that's, that's a whole other thing. Uh, that's probably uh, for today. Um, Awesome feature scripts, check them out. They'll make your life easier. Um, yeah, so that's basically what I would consider like the bare minimum for getting set up in Onshape uh, for FRC. 
Um, got to sign up for an education account. Got to add all those MKCAD features to a label. Um, side note, anybody at Onshape ever happens to watch this video, uh, I think there's a feature request, or there's an improvement request to make shareable labels. Please do this. Like that just would make it so much easier to onboard people so that they don't have to do this themselves, um, which would be great um, and make my life easier. Um, and then add feature scripts. Um, one bonus bit um, for somebody that's like getting their team set up for the first time. Um, so if you go to your account, um, you can see I, there's info here. That's great. Um, you go to this team section. Teams is the best way to add, um, to like keep your team together in Onshape. Um, you can share folders with the team. Um, so like if I go back to my root, you can see there's this 2220 folder. 2220 folder is shared with everybody in 2020, right? Um, I'm not going to show that because it has students' emails and you don't share that publicly. Um, but uh, highly recommended. Uh, makes sharing things with the team, sharing resources, sharing everything you do that season so much easier. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.